Okay, hello guys. Avery Moser here with another video. And today we're going to be looking at my World War II gear. Well, US gear. Some of it, well, most of it, yeah. Pretty much all of it, so... Yeah, let's get right into it. First, we're going to start with the boots. And... I just got these yesterday. They came in the mail. They're not, like, supposed to be World War II boots, but they're pretty... They're pretty close, really close. Pretty much the exact same. Brown. So, here you go. So. Got brown boots here. Um. Just... Yeah, pretty much ordinary brown boots. Nothing really much to say about him. Um, yeah, the other side. Yeah, the other boots the same, obviously. Um, that's pretty much it for the boots. Just ordinary boots. And next, I got my leggings i do have the original i do have a video on them so you guys can go check that out um so just ordinary leggings I, if you guys want to see how to put them on or something i do have a video on those on these this guy's name same thing in both of them so same thing in that one Says, you can see him. If I can get it with light, uh, says Mac I don't think I can get it. The it's wearing off because it's original, but Mac RJ. We really see the R. I mean, well, the X is right there, but so Mac R J, and then just a number, and that like forty three. So same thing inside both of them. Next, I don't really care. This just the uh, medic, but. So, my mom made this for me a while ago, so it's not perfect, but I was, uh, I was like 10, but, so, medic, just do that, just a strap to go over your shoulder, and I got this gauze pad. Um, a bunch of bandages, like, four of those, I think. Just aid station ID or whatever. Got those gauze pads. Just wrapped a bandage, like, two bandages and paper. Not really bandages, but, like, yeah, the bandages. And there's, I have a big, long one. A big, a big long bandage. And yeah, this is my favorite right here. Well, I do have this. Has some stuff in here. Just like some fabric, maybe off an old bed sheet and a little bandage. So this is here. Put some stuff back in here. Most of the medics I would just be bandages, but this is my favorite right here. The surgical kit. So here, let me show you guys this. So these two unbutton, unsnap. Here, me. Try to so you guys can see. There we go. Wait. There we go. Um, 
and so it just flips open. So then these flaps right here. It has scissors, tweezers, and these different kind of tweezers. Usually they're like this or something. You just squeeze them. But I do have this different kind of tweezers. Um, if I can get this. Maybe. Yeah, I do have these kind of down. Not exactly what. Hey. You squeeze them to open them instead of squeezing them to close them. And that's basically the, it in there. There's tweezers and everything. Um, scissors. Um, and... Right here, just more scissors. Some small scissors that are bent, so you can get them there. And also, just more of those right there. Regular scissors. I do have uh, tweezers right there, and this is really cool. I, uh, no, it's, I forget what it's called. Um, it's not a scalpel, it's something. I don't think it's a scalpel. Scalpel, something. Uh, hemostat, is it? Is that a hemostat? Yeah, I think it's a hemostat, but I'm not sure. Clamp arteries and stop the bleeding. Get that, clamp it, and just stay clamped. Now you have to just pull up or pull them apart. Yeah. It's pretty much all, well, you have this pocket right here then, under all these. Nothing in there right now. In the pocket right here i do have this you can put it on your uh maybe if you get cut shaving like for little cuts gauze pad gauze pads in there and then just a band-aid i did have other uh more band-aids in there but i used them so that's pretty much all stuff that's in my medic bag I can shut this. There we go. Um, so I'm gonna get, I'll show you guys my, uh, oh, I do have a video on this. So you guys can just go check it out. My original stretcher, World War II stretcher. Yeah, next, I got my a pistol belt right here. Just hooks together, same as my uh. Wait, let me look. Just wait. Same as my um. Uh, cartridge belt over there, just like that. So, yeah, my cartridge belt. I mean, my pistol belt. Next, I got here's my cartridge belt. See, same kind of hooks. 
and my man on the other side is the other hook kind of hook, but here I just tape some bullet shells together. From there, got US right there. Got some mud in there. Playing in it. Uh, this. I said in one of my, I think I was in my haversack video. I got a video on how to pack it, my haversack. But anyways, my mom made this, but I have this Altoids can that I spray painted. And then just got, for external use only, the soften them with my or whatever it is. Pulled her flap to open. C and C one, two, four, pat pending, or whatever. And then just got a bandage in there. Which, yeah, could take it out, but. So, yep, look at that. One's right there. Uh, yeah. Cartridge belt. Hold 80 rounds. Would hold 80 rounds. 10 pouches with 8 bullets in each. So, next, I got. Oh, there'd be the middle one. You could adjust it. Next, I got my. Uh, canteen. Yeah, uh, so I can show you guys this. It has US here. Um, Get some stuff move. Okay, US. Lift the button or the snap or whatever. Those buttons. To shut it. And my canteen. Uh, and then the canteen cup. And just just go on there, and then just to the back of the case for the cover, painting cover. And next, yeah, my haversack with the shovel, T handle shovel, uh, and then. My helmet, reproduction helmet. Like I said in my last video, I have a, um, a original one. My aunt already picked it up. I just don't know when I'll get it because she lives three hours away. So, yeah, got right there. The liner strap or whatever. I also have a helmet, uh, a video on this helmet i do got some stuff in here picture me that was three years ago i think for halloween there's little outburst overlord d which is d-day map there's the newspaper article There'd always be a lot of stuff stored in there. I'm on helmet. This in there. So, uh, here. Let me. I did, uh, I got. I lost one of the straps I would hook to the. Ow. Just unbutton one. Uh, one of these snaps. How it snap on to keep it in place. So I ordered one of those online. I don't know when it'll come in, but yeah, just ordinary helmet. I, on my review, I had a netting on it. I just took the netting off. Chin strap wrap right around the back. A lot of them would do. Um, so here's 
this right here. I do have a video on these two, both of them. My garrison caps. So you can go watch those. There's a name inside of here. It's kind of hard to get. Uh, Campo Jr. And then my, I also have a bronze star medal that's on the video with these. If you want to go check it out. So yeah. Um, do have, um, dog tags. Give me a second. Uh. Let me try to, uh, there we go. Um, so, do have... These dog tags are here if I get them. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. It's just has my name and stuff on it. Same with this one, same exact thing. Uh and then I also on them I got this original World War II can opener. You just open it up and put the lip of the can on that. And just so yeah. Um, you got in this dog tags and here I here I'll go get it. I do have this. It's not World War Two, but uh, it's actually Vietnam. Yes, it's an original Vietnam War canteen. Maybe. And there is. It's this kind. And there is writing on the back. Can't really read it anymore. It's too faded. Um, yeah. So, hands off. We can bring it out of the cover. Uh, it's like so that's cool. And for the string, so you don't lose the cap. Right here it says US VBC 463. 1963, I think, but I'm not sure. It's back in the cover. Snaps right there. Another one snaps. So, yeah. It's not World War II, but thought I'd put it in a video because it's something cool. Um, and I, here, let me show you guys up here. So, I do have this uniform. My mom made it a while ago. It doesn't really fit me anymore. I mean, I can still wear it. It's still what I wear. I want to get a tan one. So, yeah, it's snaps instead of buttons. And here. Just here, let me try to get it. Yeah, uh, something like that. If you can see it. Yeah, um. Then she also made these pants. Like that. I can see him. Yeah. Set pants. I want to get some tan ones. Uh, like I said. And I think this is the last thing right here. So, yeah, I got my 
um, stretcher, medic bag, leggings, boots, uh, pistol belt, cartridge belt, canteen, first aid pouch, haversack. And if you guys want to see what's in the haversack, I do have a video on it. I got my dog tags, helmet, uniform, uh, um, garrison caps, my canteen right there. And last thing right here, I do have a video on this too, if you guys want to go see it. Got that garrison cap, the one on bottom, the dark green one. Uh, it goes with this. This is original. This is these nice big buttons. And those. So, pants are in here. So, yeah, I think that's the last thing. You guys can go check out. I have a video, a separate video on my uniform, stretcher, leggings, uh, cartridge belt. Oh, oh, oh. I do have, it's all, all together, my whole web gear setup right there, and my separate video on my helmet, garrison caps, and yeah, I think that's all, and that metal, you can see right here, bronze star metal, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, hope you enjoyed, if you did, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.